Marc de Saulnier committed treason against the people of the United States. He aided and abetted terrorist financing from Middle Eastern regimes, ISIS, Al-Qaeda mercenaries that were in Syria. I know this because when I was in the army, I did terrorist financing and it's a top secret position, of course, but nothing I ever talk about is classified. I was uh, meeting with him probably four times. I met him at his office. I met him at a town hall meeting in Danville. I met him at the Monta Vista Patriots Day, Veterans Day thing that we had. I met him town hall he gave in Walnut Creek. But I remember giving Mark DeSaulnier intelligence reports and pleading with him and his staff to do something about it and he never did. He buried it, he hid it, largely because it was Obama and Biden and Hillary Clinton who were part of this conspiracy. I know for a fact there were 19,000 Swiss bank accounts that were being utilized for dark black operations. Uh, this came to me directly from the whistleblower himself who was a Swiss banker. Mark, you have contributed to the aiding and abetting of terrorism. You have killed American soldiers. You have caused American soldiers to be dismembered. You are not worthy of that office. You have taken fathers away from their children and their wives and their mothers away from their children by failing to stop this terrorist financing that has gone on and on and on. In Libya and Syria and Iraq and Afghanistan, all of this stuff could have been stopped. And Marc de Saulnier is responsible single-handedly for blood that has been spilled out of the 11th district into the sands of the Middle East. Well, this is why we need Nisha Sharma for Congress. She is the strength of character. She has the willpower. She has the discipline. She has the patriotism. She has the loyalty to make sure that traitors in Congress are not damaging America's interests, killing our soldiers, or betraying our people. I am Nisha Sharma, and I approve this message.